Hello everyone, this is Kira, and welcome to episode two of Let's Talk About It. Everything that I wish I had known when I was young, or that I had been taught when I was younger. Today's episode is all about something we all do. Something that is so natural, but it doesn't always come easy for everyone. Bowel movements. In other words, poop. I just said it. Okay. Well, you know what? It's something that needs to be talked about more. Though my brothers don't have this issue. Uh, so, why am I bringing this up? Our bowel movements are something that we generally only talk about when we're potty training our children. We don't really talk about it later, which is fine in a normal sense. I mean, it's not really a dinner conversation topic, but it is something that people really ought to be educated more on. Because what is happening with your bowel movements strongly indicates what is happening in your body in many cases. Oh, ta-da, let there be light. So I looked up because I was curious. A long time ago, I had thought I'd read that there was a certain number of movements that everybody should have every day. Like if we were healthy, we should go to the bathroom after every time we have a big meal. Uh, I was wrong on that one. According to uh, medical sources, not me, because uh, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. Sources say that there is no standard that somebody could be going three times a day or once every three days. That if you go more than three days without a bowel movement, that's an indication that something is going wrong. But within that three day period, most people have a normal schedule. Most people, as they grow, um, as they live their lives, they will regularly be a once a day kind of person or a twice a day kind of person or a once every other day kind of person. And it's good to take note of that because if that changes, that's an indication that something is changing in your body. Not always in a bad way. Me, for example, I know that I was chronically constipated for years, in all likelihood. I know this because when I changed my diet, my movements changed. And not only did my movements change in here, the quality of them changed. There is no struggling. There is no, there's no, oh, it's happening. It flows. And this might be TMI, in other words, too much information, but 95% of the time now when I go, this is hardly needed, I swear to God. It's almost as if I just peed because uh, I don't need this. And I attribute that the major change that happened when I went plant-based and even more so when I cut out oil, strangely enough. So um, that was a major change for me. It was really nice. I have a little tip for you today for when you have to still deal with those strenuous moments. Often in life, when something difficult comes up, we contract, we close up. When we're in pain, what do we do? We want to protect ourselves. When we're cold, what do we do? We huddle. And so what do we do when we have a little pushing going on? We generally lean forward and we squish our body. Who doesn't do this? Well, most people, unless they know the trick. The trick is that in fact, like everything else in life, if you lean back and lean into it, then it actually has a chance to release itself in a much easier way. And gaining popularity to assist in this is this lovely little vice called a squatty potty. 
My roommate got this. I had never heard such a thing, but apparently it's now taken up popularity. The concept is that instead of having your legs down and you have a bit of a angle here and you're leaning forward, as is the tendency, okay, you can sit up and it's better. You're straighter, easier flow, but if you get your legs up and lean back a little, well then, you are really paving the way. So, as I mentioned, this is a really important topic. It's a really indicator of your health and changes in your health. And that's the important thing to teach your kids. Not that they need to be talking about all the time, but for them to pay attention to how often are you as a parent paying attention to how often they go. And then, you know, lead some conversations into, huh, okay, uh, is it difficult? If your child is having a difficult, difficult time going to the bathroom, maybe make a few changes and see if that changes anything. It can be a guidepost. And as I said, if you want to get through the struggle, relax, allow it to flow. Thank you for tuning in to episode two of Let's Talk About It here with Kira. All the things that I wish I had learned when I was younger. Life hacks, things that could have uh, saved me some time and some discomfort and some, wow, a lot of things really. But especially important, health, time, sanity, all those things. More to come next week. Thanks for tuning in.